2002, a gruesome discovery was made in a garden in Galway in Ireland. The owner of a bungalow was carrying out building work when he uncovered human remains. The body had been wrapped in a sleeping bag and left in a shallow grave. A post-mortem was carried out, but the remains have never been formally identified. And 14 years on, Irish detectives believe someone in the UK could hold the key to identifying who he was. Well, Detective Inspector Michael Coppinger joins me. Now, talk us through the initial investigation all these years ago. Yes, Sophie. In 2002, a local developer had purchased a property in Upper Salt Hill. And while he was cleaning out the rear garden using a mechanical digger, he discovered a shallow grave which contained skeleton remains. And you think the body had been there for a couple of years. How had he been killed? Yes, we, we believe that he had been killed and concealed in a sleeping bag which is tied with an nylon rope. A follow-up post-mortem examination revealed that he had died as a result of uh, blunt force trauma to his skull. And there were specific items that were with him that you think people could help identify? Yeah, that's correct, Sophie. A number of items were found when the, the sleeping bag and the shallow grave were excavated, including these rings and some hair ties. In particular, these Norton Ridge boots, they were still in the sleeping bag with the skeleton remains. You think the man was called Dave. What more do you know about him? Yes, we believe that he, he was known to some people who frequented the squat, uh, to, which was at the front of this area where he was found. And these people believe that he was Dave. He was also referred to as Dave Rawson. But we believe that he may be known in the UK by some other name. And he had links to specific parts of England? Yes, again, uh, we believe that he may have links to uh, Tunbridge Wells and Cornwall area. While in Galway, he busks on the streets and he met his living basically by busking. But what you would really like tonight is to have a, a positive identification, someone to ring in and tell you who he is. And also, you want to find the, the person who killed him. That's correct, Sophie. Our appeal tonight is we, were, we would like somebody to possibly identify the person who is known to as Dave. We believe that he's from the UK and we would also appeal to anybody who has information in relation to how Dave met his vi this violent death to call the programme tonight, please. Thank you. Well, Thank Michael you, and his colleagues are standing by for your call. If you think you can help, please do get in touch using the numbers on the screen.